Quite the wound here. Yeah, I fell on a sharp rock in the river. So where's Sable? Well, he couldn't make it. He stayed back to do some more prospecting. Well, that's odd. He usually doesn't miss a chance to visit. He never misses a meeting. Meeting? Yeah, it's like a spiritual group. You know, you might enjoy it. I'd be interested in seeing your take on our practices. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm very spiritual. Yeah, most people aren't when they come to me. <laughs> looks like you don't get many visitors here, huh? This place looks deserted. Yeah, well, most people left when the gold slowed down. And you? You live here alone? I'll buy my lonesome. But I have my hobbies. <clears throat> ah, so love that gold. And keep your trading off the books. Yeah, but I should let you know there, there is a charge. Yeah, I figured. How much of a cut you take? It's not like that. What do you mean? We can talk about that later. That should do it. Let's get you a seat in the living room. And... Thank you. Don't mention it. My name's Aaron Goff and I'm the founder and owner of Goff Custom. Uh, owner might be a bit of a lofty title given that I'm the only person at my company. You can buy less expensive knives for sure, but I, you know, I don't think you can buy a better knife anywhere. I don't have any education beyond high school and high school I got 0.75 above the passing grade. I don't have any formal background in metallurgy or machining or anything. Um, so for me, it was much more about, um, you know, trying something, failing at it, looking on the internet and seeing what other people were doing in different ways. Three years on the street, I couldn't find my way back Afraid to fall asleep. Most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing them But I am forever missing him
So you do have an understanding of morality. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just surprised. I'm surprised to find a, a moral stockbroker. It's like finding a, an honest lawyer. Excuse me? You're making a lot of assumptions. Do you have a problem? Well, if you haven't noticed, Jesse, yes. The entire country has a problem. Have you ever wondered, Jesse, what it would be like on the other side with somebody else in control of your livelihood? Let's go back to that trolley dilemma, Jesse. Let's give that a different set of rules. What if you weren't in control? What if you were on the tracks and somebody else had control over your feet? John. Instead of the tracks, Jesse. What if we put you on a train? And there was a bomb on that train. And that bomb was set to go off the minute you reached your stop. And you, you had to blindly choose which briefcase the bomb was in. Decide. If this is your attempt at a joke, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's... Make a choice, Jesse. 